Hey guys, Cameron here. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Six Moon Design Serenity Net Tent. Now, you may have seen my longer review of the Gatewood Cape on YouTube, and I will post a link to that video down below. If you haven't seen it, um, it goes into a lot greater de detail of the Gatewood Cape by Six Moon Design and uh, how the Serenity Net Tent fits in with that system. Um, but this is a review just over the Serenity Net Tent itself. And the reason I feel like that's appropriate is that I actually stay in this by itself um, a couple times a year. And the reason for that is I live in Texas and uh, it's really hot a lot of the year. And we may go a month or two in a row without any sort of rain. Um, so I don't have to worry about getting wet. So during summer, uh, a lot of times I will just set this up whenever I'm more worried about bugs and especially mosquitoes. And uh, this does a great job at keeping bugs at bay um, while I am out camping and uh, also allows for great views right from your bed. So I'll give you a real quick rundown of the Serenity Net Tent as well as show you how to set it up as a solo shelter. So the Serenity Net Tent has changed slightly since I bought this one a few years ago. Um, now I believe they're using a slightly different color material. It's not this black material. And also the bathtub floor is slightly smaller than the one on this Serenity Net Tent. Um, but for the most part, everything's still the same. I just looked up on their website. It shows the new Serenity Net Tent coming in at 11 ounces. And I just weighed mine with the mesh bag that it comes in. It comes in at 10.8 ounces. So it's only about a quarter ounce difference. And this one is actually a little bit lighter. So if you can find a used one online, you may uh, come out a little bit better than buying a brand new one from Six Moon Design. The overall pack size of this is pretty small. As you can see here, it's about the size of a Nalgene, I'd say, but it also compresses a lot more than what you see right here. So you can actually smash this down quite a bit and it gets pretty small. Um, one cool trick is you can actually leave this clipped into your Gatewood cape if you would like, if you have one and use it as well. And then it will all fit inside of the pocket of the Gatewood cape. But if you're using the Gatewood cape for a poncho or if you're just using this Serenity net tent by itself, um, it comes with this mesh uh, storage sack and uh, it fits inside there pretty easy. I don't roll mine up or anything. I just stuff it down inside and it'll fit in there. And like I showed, uh, mashes down pretty good. So you know you got a little bit of extra space in there. You don't have to do a super awesome job of stuffing it in there to get it to fit, um, which is one thing that I really appreciate. Now the Serenity Net Tent is about $135 brand new currently from uh, Six Moon Designs on their website. Um, but you can pick up a used one on a lot of internet forums or on Facebook on one of the uh, gear marketplaces. Um, you can definitely pick one up for less than $100. Um, and it's a really great piece of kit. I love that this is modular. Not only does it go with the Gatewood Cape, it also goes with the Deschutes tarp. And as well as other brands of tarps, um, you can use this and it just clips up inside. So let me set it up for you and show you exactly why I like it so much, um, how easy it is to set up, and a few more details about it. All right, guys, go ahead and set this thing up. Uh, the stuff sack is just a simple uh, mesh sack. And you can see there weighs uh, pretty much nothing and you don't even really need that if you don't want you can just stuff this thing straight inside your pack um, you can tell mine it looks like the floor is brown but that's just from all the dust out in West Texas um, when I take it out there now there is a front and back to this thing there's a door only on one side um, so you'll be able to figure out which one is the front by the uh, Six Moon Design logo down there at the bottom. And then this thing is not a true rectangle. It actually sticks out a tiny bit in the middle of the back side. But uh, it definitely will fit under any standard size sort of tarp. And then one cool thing is you can set this up with a line here um, just under a tree. If you don't use trekking poles, um, you can tie this to pretty much anything. Make a longer cord, hang it from uh, whatever you need. Um, you can set this thing up inside of shelters if that's something you do. Um, we don't have shelters on trails around here, um, so we don't have that option. But you can hang it from a tree or use a trekking pole like I'm going to show you. All right, you're going to need six stakes to set this up fully. Now, obviously, you don't have to use six stakes um, however you want to do it. Um, but normally, you got two stakes in the front corners, two in the back corners. You have one in the middle of that back section and then one going to the guy line in front. Now I'm just using these little titanium shepherd's hook stakes and these have worked out really well for me. Kind of give you an idea of what the floor shape looks like before I actually stand this thing up. 
Um, you can see how it's not exactly a rectangle. That backside right there in the middle sticks out just a little bit. But I got my uh, five stakes in there for the five main guy out points. And then I have the uh, one big one where the trekking pole is going to hold it up. So this is what each corner looks like. That is a piece of uh, elastic that they use. And the reason they do that is so that this net tent can clip to your uh, gatewood cape or your tarp and uh, has some give to it. Um, I just slide my stake right there through the mitten hook. That mitten hook is there to be able to clip it to your tarp. Um, but you don't have to do that. You can run your uh, stake just through the middle of this uh, elastic right there. Um, but this mitten hook point uh, makes a great place for a stake. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put the trekking pole in. This is the main trekking poles I use. Now I've had these for over 10 years. Um, this is an older style trekking pole. It doesn't have the uh, carbide tip. It just has a big round metal cap on the end. And uh, it definitely works out better with the carbide tip. And I'll show you why in just a second. I'll use my wife's trekking pole to set this up. But I'll show you how I set it up with this style trekking pole. So on the top of this tarp, it comes with a mitten hook and that is used to clip it to the top of the gatewood cape to help hold it up. So if you had the gatewood cape tarp over this, you would just clip that right in and then you would be set up and good to go. Um, but since I don't have that here and I'm just setting this up solo, I will use my trekking pole upside down to stick up through this piece of cord here. You could also stick it through the loop right here where the mitten hook itself is. And that's what I'll use to set this up. Now I'll just slide my pole down here and extend it until the uh, Serenity net tent is about the right height for me. Take my stake and hold this guy line down. All right, so I'll give you a little closer up view of exactly what I did here. Um, you can see here is the loop that I went around my trekking pole with. This is the smaller loop down here that I was showing you can stick your trekking pole in through. So either way, it works out pretty well. Um, and then here's the mitten hook that you would clip to the top of your gatewood cape or your tarp. So then there's the top there, just a little wider view. And then we're gonna come down the guy line here and I just have it simply staked to the ground. Now you can definitely have a longer guy line and uh, have it out as far as you would like. Right here you can see that I have this Velcro tab around my trekking pole. That just helps hold the Serenity net tent um, closer up to the trekking pole itself. Definitely don't have to do it, but it's a really simple step and a really cool feature that Six Moon Design added on here. All right, so down here at the base, um, Six Moon Design has this extra tab here um, that comes out right where your trekking pole would end. And you can either use this um, under your trekking pole. You could uh, tie a, a piece of string to this to go around the bottom of your trekking pole. You could put a stake through this if you felt like you needed it. I never have. Or I believe they have an optional um, extra pole that will go right down through the middle of that grommet and uh, is made to go with this. Um, but I think setting up with the trekking pole, as long as you use trekking poles, um, works out really well. I don't think that you actually need to do anything with this. Sometimes I just tuck it back under here. Sometimes I do my best to stick it under the trekking pole to help hold it down. It just helps pull the bottom of the floor out just a little bit. Here's a little bit better shot of the shape of the net from the end. And as you can tell, it uh, is almost vertical in front and then comes up slanted toward the back. And that is because of the shape of the Six Moon Design Gatewood Cape and the Chutes Tarp. And uh, it fits perfectly inside that. Down here at the bottom, you can see the bathtub floor they have around there. And uh, I've never had any sort of problem um, with uh, water getting in here. Not that I've had this in a ton of heavy rain, but I have had this in rain before. And uh, the floor has held up pretty well. I use my shelters um, without any sort of ground sheet. And I have them in some pretty harsh conditions out in West Texas where it's really rocky, really dry, sandy. And uh, I haven't had any problems with the uh, durability of this floor. It's held up really well, and uh, I don't have any concerns about that. If you do have concerns, you can definitely use a piece of polycryo or Tyvek as a uh, uh, ground sheet to help protect your floor. All right, I'll go ahead and give you a shot of the door and how that works. So it just has a uh, two-way zipper down here, and it zips up in this L shape here. 
and uh, that's actually pretty convenient and I like the fact that you can roll this net door out of the way and they have a tab here to be able to clip it up and hold it back. So with the door clipped back, um, you have extra ventilation and it's easy to uh, be able to get your stuff in and out. Now, sometimes I sleep with my head on this end, sometimes I sleep with my head down on that end. It just depends on how I am uh, feeling that day, how flexible I'm feeling. If you sleep with your head on this end down by the door, um, it's definitely harder to sit in, tuck your legs in, and then get them down to that end to me. Um, it's easier for me to put my head down at that end and I just sit down and then uh, slide my legs in this way, zip the door closed, and then I'm able to lay down. Either way, doesn't really matter. It's just whatever is comfortable to you. All right, now I'll give you a view of what it looks like with your standard size 20 inch pad in there. And uh, you definitely still got some extra room in there to put your gear, and I always do. So I will stuff my pack or most of my stuff down in the bottom and then uh, still have room for my pad. It actually will fit a large size pad, the 25 inch wide pads in there which is what I did on my last trip, but it will take up the entire floor from side to side. And uh, it's pretty much exactly 25 inches, just barely does fit in there, um, but it will fit if that's something that you sleep with. All right, I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about and kind of how hard it is to get in here and put your feet down on this opposite end. So you have to be able to tuck your foot way up here and uh, I'm not very flexible, so it's a little tougher for me. You can probably fit in here if you're up to six, I don't know, six two, six three maybe. If you're uh, much more than that, this might be a little short for you. I fit in here just fine. And then I really like that I'm able to sit all the way up in here and I uh, don't have any problems with that. Um, that's pretty nice to be able to sit up, put my shoes on, or uh, mess with whatever I need to mess with while I'm in here. So something I think would be awesome if Six Moon Designs would add, but it really wouldn't be that hard uh, for a DIY project, is for them to add a tab right in here um, with a pullout. And the reason that is, is because the Gatewood Cape has clips inside um, right there. And it would be really easy if there was a uh, piece of fabric, some sort of small loop, uh, to be able to clip that to your Gatewood Cape. That would help pull the netting up away from your head and feet a little bit and just make it seem a little bigger in there create a little more room so now i told you that i would show you it set up with a uh, trekking pole with a carbide tip so you can see how you can still get that loop over the end of the pole still get the velcro snapped around the uh, pole itself but uh, down here at the bottom this is what i'm talking about with the carbide tip it will fit right through that grommet and you can uh, pull that out and uh, hold it down with the pole itself. You don't need a separate stake. You also could tie a piece of elastic onto that and then run it straight out here to the same stake that holds out your guy. Well guys, that's the Serenity Net Tent by Six Moon Design. Uh, pretty quality gear, has lasted me for years and I think uh, still got lots of years left out of this thing. Um, it's awesome during the summertime when you're not expecting any rain and then obviously to use along with another tarp. Um, this thing works out really well to keep the bugs at bay. Um, appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you next time.